doing? He shows you privates. <laughs> private sites, not privates. Oh. Please don't stand up. Don't stand up. Hello and welcome to Hitch Up and Toe. What? I didn't know. Well, I don't think people want to see your privates, dear. <sighs> they certainly don't want to see mine. I tell you, I haven't seen them for ages. <laughs> I hope you want about yours. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this, uh, we're taking up the challenge from Caravantastic. And the challenge was, show us your privates. And it was your top three, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> show us your top three private campsites. Mm -hmm. So we've had a think about it. A we, big thing. A big thing. We found this really difficult, didn't we? We did. Um, yeah. Not that we, well, it's lots of sites we would like to go to, which we haven't been to yet, which might be in this list. Well, won't be in this list. We'll be in this list. We've been here. We're only going to, <laughs> we're only doing sites we've actually been to. Not ones we hope to go to. Yeah. And because people want different things from different sites. So like if you're a family, you want a family site. If you're a couple, maybe you don't. So we tried to pick our top three private sites which are good for families and would be okay for couples. Yeah. Yeah. I mean especially off season, you know, when yeah. you when the schools are all in school, when that ever yeah. happens. Um, yeah, we wouldn't mind going to these off season. In fact, we've been to these off season, so we have actually all of them. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. Um, so, do you want to start? We, we thought actually there'd be quite a few people that haven't got children that would be doing private sites that are child free. Yeah. So that's why we thought, well, we'll go with the uh, the kitty ones. So okay. our first one is. Could you, can I just say, not not in any particular order. No. 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 Uh, it's Tregarden Park, which is in Goran Haven in Cornwall. Yeah, it's a, a really nice site. Um, I have done a video on it, so I will put a link up here, or try to. I'll also put it in the description below. Um, it's, like I say, in Goran Haven. It's a caravan site. It doesn't do statics or anything like that. No. I think they do have three cottages, though. They do have cottages, which are more sort of off off the side it's a little right on the entrance yeah. road coming in isn't it yeah um it has a swimming pool lovely swimming pool. swimming pool which they do serve food they do and drink they do and alcoholic drink they do by the pool yeah um it has a really nice play park yes lovely play park for the kids quite yeah. a big play park yeah. they have a tennis court they have it yes they do and a football pitch thingy really? i think yeah i'm sure the kids have been on the football oh, pitch no. One thing I'll, I'll also about the, the park is the um, playground is fenced off, big wooden fence all the way around. So they close it at about nine o'clock, don't they? They do. Also, this, the the shop or cafe which sells drinks and all that by the pool that closes in the evening as well. Yeah. So there's no sort of like late night drinking or late night kids running about. It's quite quiet in the evening, which yeah. is very nice, isn't it? I think it's about six o'clock. They close the uh, the calf. The calf and six, that. seven o'clock. Yeah, and I think yeah. the park closes at nine. The park closes at nine. So by kids. ten o'clock, the site itself is really peaceful. And it's, all yeah. the pictures are nice size. Yeah. I think are they all grass? They're, they're all. No, they're not. Some of them are standing there. Yeah, but they're, they're all hedged off, aren't they? Yeah, they're all they're all quite nice pictures. Um, yeah. If you've never been, definitely have a look at my video. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely have a look at it. It is a really nice park. Yeah and you know good for families or good for couples and you actually feel as if you're abroad when you're on this you do. site it's a funny feeling when you're there um, because of the way that the pool area is set out you've got mm. your sun lounges you've got your um your tables and chairs where you can eat and they'll bring the food to you you don't have to carry your own food um so it, it is a bit like um it's like being away mm. properly. They've also got, I think, have they got pool tables and table tennis tables by the pool? Yeah. 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 I think yeah. they've got a pool table. I remember. Uh, Definitely I know table got, tennis yeah. table. But yeah, it's all nice and the pool is always lovely and warm. Yes, they did have a pool table because they took a picture of the kids playing pool. Yeah, that's okay. 
Um, one other point which I've never actually been to another site where it does this, but they will pitch a van for you. Okay. You turn up, unhitch, they put it on site, level it, and then you, all you've got to do is put your steady down and connect your water and gas up and that sort yeah. of thing. So yeah, really nice site, top marks. One thing I must say um, is because my legs are no good anymore, it is on a hill, um, which is quite a, a big hill. Um, so you've got to have good legs or someone that's good to push you. Yeah, or an electric <laughs> wheelchair. Well, that would be better, yeah. yeah. Wait, did, did you take your beep beep there? No, I didn't. Well, I say beep beep with an electric scooter, sorry. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just had my wheelchair, didn't I? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, it is a bit of a steep hill. Okay, next one. Where should we go here? Um, Heathland Beach. Heathland Beach. More of a family site than a couple site, I would say. Yeah. Um, it's actually in Kessingland in Suffolk. And you get it, the nice weather. You get nice weather. And if you know East Anglia, it's flat. Yeah. So no big hills and mountains <laughs> to climb. So ideal for us, for the wheelchair. Really nice site. The site is flat. Again, swimming pool. Yep. Uh, uh, three swimming pools. Well, I've got a paddling pool, a swimming pool, and a flume pool. Yeah. Um, which you can use as a swimming pool because the flume's only open, what's it, two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon? Yeah, or two and a half, something two and a half like that. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, which the kids used to absolutely love. They um, did, till they got older. Um, it has a bar on site mm -hmm. and it has a small shop on site. Yeah. If you want a drink, um, you can go over to the bar, get yourself a drink and bring it over to the pool or of course you can have it in the bar. Um, they don't actually do food, I don't think. They don't do food. No, no. but you can, you can get something out of the shop if you want to eat. Um, you oh, I can take your own food over to the pool yeah, area. We do that. Over there. It has uh, two play parks. It does. Uh, one on in the middle of the touring field, mm -hmm. so for younger people. And then, oh, well, younger children, not yeah. people. Not us, <laughs> and then it has a large, larger park by the swimming pool for older teenagers. Yeah. It also has um, a big grass area for mm -hmm. football or other games. I think it also has some exercise machinery now at it the far does. end. Yeah. And it has a fishing lake. Yep. So. You can actually go fishing on site, yep. uh, which I think there's a, a charge where you have to go to the shop um, to, to sort that You're out. You're not fishing people. Fishing no. people? No. Anglers. <laughs> Anglers. No. Uh, it also has a tennis court as well, I think. Yeah, yeah I think it does. So it's got a lot of stuff there. Yeah. And it's basically on the beach. Yes. Well, about 100 foot above the beach. Yeah, I think there's 99 steps down yeah. to the beach. Yeah, you can walk to the cliff top and... Um, jump? No. Well, no, I wouldn't <laughs> jump. Um, but yeah, you're right on the beach, basically, uh, and you can sit there and watch the sunrise. Yeah. Because you're on the Sunrise Coast. Yeah. Um, there's no dog walk on site, but the walk down to the beach is supposed to be the dog walk, isn't it? Or and along the cliff and tops. along the cliff tops. Yeah. And... Where you're situated, you've got a Morrison's just up the road, McDonald's, uh, Pizza Hut, Greg's, KFC, e KFC everything. everything is on, on the doorstep. Yeah. Our daughter uh, comes, she hasn't got a caravan, so she actually books one of the statics and they do click and collect, don't they? Mm -hmm. So they'll book a caravan and do click and collect at the local uh, Morrison's, come down and pick it up when they're there. Yeah. Simple. So, Really nice even, site. Even though the statics on site, the statics are not on the actual tour and bits. That no, it's site. a separate site as such, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but there are a few statics um, by where the swimming pool are. Yeah. So, but not a lot. Go and have a look at my video. I'll put a link up here if I can. I'm never put more than one link on a video, <laughs> but I'll try and put a link up here to Heathland Beach. Yeah. I'll definitely put it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, Heathland Beach, definitely for families. Not bad for uh, couples. Oh, it's got a clubhouse. It has got a clubhouse. Got a clubhouse. They, they do do, um, do, 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 do. They do do bingo um, a couple of nights. They also have a children's mm. disco, I think, yeah, that's not very one good night. Um, but again, it's not that loud. It's not noisy. Mm. And the clubhouse is by the shop, so it's away from the touring area. Um, it's, it's just a, a nice all-round site. And mm. it's not, as we said, I mean, even though it's a kid's site, for, for children and stuff it's not that 
And they've got Pants security. Pants are so easy or anything. No, they have security. Yeah, it's called a peacock. <laughs> She's lovely. She's been there for, oh God, as long as we can remember. He's been there, sorry. For as long as we can remember. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. there's a peacock about. But yeah, lovely sight. Um, we're actually going there this year. We are. Well, three weeks. Hopefully. No, not in three weeks, for three weeks, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, as long as um, we're allowed out. Yeah. Then again, if we're allowed out, we might be going to Chakranton Park as well. Well, yeah. we did say about going there, that's quite nice. Okay, third one. Third one. Well, we didn't really know what to, to do for the third one, did we? Because there's, we've been to quite a lot of sites. But one that sort of gives you everything. And it is, well, it's on our doorstep as and well. And it's on our doorstep. It's not that far away. Was Plassey. Yeah. I mean, the, it's got... Where is it first? Oh, it's in Wrexham, in yes, Wales. North Wales, so yeah. it's just, just down the road from us. Yeah, so it's not too far. It's got shops, it's got three pubs. It's, well, there's two, isn't there? There's the Tree Tops Bar. Yeah. There's the clubhouse on the golf the course. The golf course. The shipping, I think, is a restaurant. More than a pub, I'm not 100% well, sure. Well, I suppose sure. you could go and have a drink. I don't know. No, I'm, yeah. We haven't actually been in there. Um, it's got a lovely play park for the kids. It's also got a ball park for the younger kids. Yeah. It's got um, badminton court. It has. It's got a games room. Yeah. It's got a swimming pool. Um, it's got quite a bit. It's got a big grass area as well. I don't know if you can do anything on that. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. But yeah, it, that's another lovely sight. I mean, we've not been to the treetops bar because obviously I can't get up there. Actually, we've um, been to any of No, we haven't. The shops um, are quite nice to have a look around. The we've shops are lovely. The shops. Um, yeah. And it's got a normal shop as well for like your, your, your essentials. Yeah. The only thing I would say the swimming pool is uh, quite small. Yeah, it's an indoor pool. Yeah. And it is quite small and it is like a, a wristband. Yeah, it's limited to how many people can go so in. So when you go in, they'll give you your wristband and you've got, I think, about an hour and a half. I think it determines on how busy and how, how busy people, the site is. You know, you'll yeah. get a certain amount of time, but if there's no one there, they, you'll just carry on. But if, if there's people waiting to go, then you're limited to the And if you time. go when the kids are at school, then you've, you've probably got as much time as you want and it's we didn't realize that we went um during the school <coughs> holidays but it's a school holidays for, for us but it wasn't for wales that's right so when we went there was no children there no well, and if the swimming pool is ever short which because if there's not a lot of people around say you went on a, a weekday um and the kids were all at school and the swimming pool's closed you just go to the shop and ask them and they will open the pool for you mm. so yeah. Very nice, very uh, well maintained. Yeah. Well managed, really good, uh, nice people uh, working the site. It's very clean, all the pictures are well laid out, um, all the amenities are good. Yeah. So, yeah, can't really not classy. Really enjoyed it there. Again, I'm going to put a link in above and below if we can. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that was. Yeah. So there are three sites yeah. for um, private people with sites. private sites, yeah. not when naked we get, sites. I would don't think they belong to any other group. No. They are just individual um, sites. So yeah, give them a look. Um, give them a go if you fancy them. If you ever get out. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we're not going to challenge anybody, but if you'd like to share your privates, that come out wrong yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you'd like to show us your private sites so um, please do yeah so until then see you soon bye bye